Good morning, guys. I'm at Dollar Tree. I'm actually at one that I come to maybe like once every two weeks. This one's usually kind of promising, but it's also like a hit or miss. So I think I'm going to just try to get a basket, maybe do like the basket challenge and see if I can fill it up today or not. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go into Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm going to get very many clips. It really sometimes depends on how packed it is because I don't want to be in people's way. But I'm definitely going to come back in the car and do a car haul. basket challenge is always, I don't even know, straight out of patience. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow, I've never seen Summer's Eve, or have I? Maybe I have, but this is like a full product. I have been wanting to find these. Yes. Here's how the basket challenge is going. Every time I do it, I always wish I had got a car instead. Here's how the challenge is going. I can't, I can't put one more thing in here. Alright guys, so I hope this is a better setup. I feel like when I put you guys over here, sometimes the audio gets ruined because I have the car running in the AC. Anyway, it's a whole thing. So I went in there to do the basket challenge and why do I do this to myself? Why do I even, why, why do I even create that? Because it's, anyways, I hit a jackpot. That's the thing with Dollar Trees. You just don't know what the stores are gonna do. This is, again, one store that for me, it's just been like hit or miss. It probably depends on the day as well. And when the trucks come in, I'm sure those are all variables, but let me show you what I got. I spent $60 total before tax. I don't know how many items that is, but I will throw it up on the screen. Every item was $1.25. So we're just gonna... <laughs> We're gonna start off with a bang because let me tell you, when I woke up this morning, I did not know I was gonna find these. I didn't. Um, what? Look how beautiful they are. They are stunning. Feeling them, just straight feeling them between my hands. The material, the, the product feels like super good quality i don't know if it's like double insulated it kind of looks like it i don't know if it has that claim it just says it's a tumbler it says not recommended for microwave or dishwasher so keep that in mind i don't know if it's bpa free i imagine that if it was it would say it i don't know if that's like a requirement or not to say it if it is but these are absolutely stunning especially since school is going to come to an end here really soon um and this would be really cute if you want to like do a summer gift for your child's teacher like this would be gorgeous tumblers and you could fill it up with little things and you know gift cards like the works and you could tie little bows or like little keychains with like their initials gosh i wish i had more than one kid because i only ever got to experience everything with kind of like one time but um i don't know gift giving is such a fun thing so these would be really cute for that they're also great for maybe picking one up for a mother's day gift basket or for your damn self you know what i mean um so there's that okay pulling for this bag let me tell you what is this uh, what is this i it's word search that's what it is with a really pretty cover i for the, there for a second this was the first one that i saw and i was like oh is that like a word search for kids i mean i don't i don't think so maybe but 
Word search is word search, folks. Like that is really adorable. Okay, it's like really hot in this car. If I keep the car running, it like shakes the phone. So I hope that the sound is okay, but I might melt. Um, so look how cute. And let me just show you the covers. Is this, this is it grease? Like, I'm here for a Dollar Tree. I don't know what you've done. I don't think this is a Dollar Tree brand though. I'm not seeing like the, you know, this is says printed in Canada. So thanks Canada for your word searches. I'm obsessed. Then I found these little stickers, barely had room for them in my basket, but shoved them in there anyways. I actually got these the other day, but they have like a more mirrored effect. And I like the little glittered, you know, rainbow colors on that, super cute. I've gotten these before and I ended up donating them, but then I decided I need them again in my life and I got them in black. So, because I'm gonna try to do my own nails, but with me, I bite off more than I can chew. Like, like I have good intentions, but then I'm not good at what I think I could be good at, if that makes sense. But this is a gel nail soak caps. Like you put them on your little fingers and it soaks off your gel, which is really cool. It shows you like how to use them and they do come in multiple colors. Of course, I got mine in black. Then I did get a variety of masks, especially since I organized my bathroom. You're gonna be seeing that video soon. Um, I don't know if it's coming before this video or not. I don't think so. It might come after this video, but since I've organized my bathroom, I've wanted to add a couple more masks to my collection. And then I got these little nail files. Also, I guess I'm creating a little collection out of these. They're really cute and they have a little travel case, which I love. Now I have cherry, strawberry, this print, and then something in blue. Um, so now I've got these purple ones, which are cute. And then didn't I say Sassy and Chic is like killing the game lately? It is probably the number one brand right now at Dollar Tree. Sassy and Chic has been blowing my mind so much that it has stopped me from doing my normal routine. And I have had this same routine with Dollar Tree for years, over a decade actually. And Sassy and Chic has broken my routine. My routine basically was there was always a way and a pattern that I would go through Dollar Tree. And I never broke it. I don't know why it was just how I've always like shopped in Dollar Tree. Sassy and Chic has, I, I beeline for it now. I just beeline for it. I like, I just have to see what they're doing. Look at these brushes. They are so pretty. I can't even stand it. This is professional quality. So there's that. All right, so there's that bag. I'm gonna get these all put back in here. Probably my favorite basket challenge because this this was a this was a good one. This was a good one, and I have so much more to show you. Okay, I needed to restock my favorite toothbrushes, so I got that. Um, then I did get these Carmex Carmex lip. I got one in strawberry, and then in just like the original, just to like keep on hand. I've really been liking Carmex lately, so I found these in the checkout aisle as I was like throwing my stuff, you know, on the conveyor belt. Then I got this watermelon daily cleanser. Now I know Be Pure put out like a whole dupe to the glow up. I've yet to find that. And I know they put it out months ago. I've seen people still finding them at their Dollar Trees and my Dollar Trees in my area have not had this watermelon collection by Be Pure. Now this isn't Be Pure. This is, I don't know who it is, but it's a Dollar Tree brand and it's just like a watermelon cleanser, paraben free. I also found this by Global Beauty Care, watermelon and hyaluronic acid. This is hydrating cleansing wipes with vitamins A, C, and E. And it's just for like a smooth and refine texture. I can't smell that either. Let me just, I don't know, let me just open this real quick. So I just, I gotta, I gotta see what's going on. Oh my God, it smells like watermelon. 
That is crazy. Another item that I've seen a lot, but I only just recently found it finally are these little lip stains or what are they calling them? Yeah, mini lip stains. They are so incredibly adorable. I think I found a variation of these before by B Color, which I imagine is the same as B Pure. It's got the same like B font. So I'm just assuming they're the same people. Um, but these are really adorable. Kind of what's going on here. Oh, hey -o. Wow. Like you saw that with your own eyes, right? Assuming it's like a little lip stain. Wow, just kind of like. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna let that set in and see what happens. Um, all right. So then I'm just gonna bring all this out real quick. Okay. I also found these adorable little Mentos packs. Now for $1.25, you know what I mean? But out of convenience, I was there. I decided to get them. They also have them in the blue bottle. So I guess this one is spearmint and I'm guessing the blue one is peppermint. So just letting y'all know that that's at Dollar Tree. All right, so there's that bag. And then as you saw, I finally found these. I have been wanting to find these sprays for so long. I did not get the pink. I just got these two. I definitely had to get the aqua. And then this one is the fresh and clean. It is a yoga mat refresher. Now I don't do yoga, but I'm going to. So um, I got these for that future and it's by Sure Sense, which is crazy because this is a label that's been a Dollar Tree for a minute, for a while actually. And I didn't see them doing new stuff like that. So left me kind of shook. Um, here's another pack of my toothbrushes. As I was organizing my bathroom, I was like, you know what? I need some like extra toothbrushes on hand. So I got those. Then I found this entire new collection right here. I don't know what brand this is. Rich Radiance. It is not a Dollar Tree brand, so once it goes, it might just go. There might not be a restock, um, but I found the Vitamin C and Grapefruit Dark Spot Treatment. I'm going to open all these up so you can see them. Oat Milk and Honey Cream Cleanser. Very cool. Mango and Shea Butter Moisturizer with Vitamin E. And then this is the Coconut and Sweet Almond Glow Oil with Vitamin C. Okay, I'm just going to open up, obviously, the ones that we couldn't see, just so let's get this little. So here's what the packaging looks like. Personally, I love this size because for me, I can just use it for traveling, so that's really cool. And then in this one, see what it looks like. So that's what you get in that box. So that's really cool. Um, now, I only just saw this the other day and I thought, I was like, I'm not going to find it. I don't know. I guess I was just bitter because there's so much I haven't been finding. But girl, I found her. I, I mean, wait, I found it. This is the full brand new Ioni makeup collection. And just looking at it in the packaging, it is so cute. I really love it. I can't speak to how well the products actually work, obviously. So let me just show you everything that's in this collection. Hopefully I got everything. I might have missed one little glitter thing, but this is called the Fat Chubby Stick in Alabaster Gold. It is an eyeshadow color. Basically it's an all-in-one. You can use it as a primer, highlighter, creamy eyeshadow, or eyeliner that is quite a bold claim okay then we have this one this is the felt tip eyeliner pen in teal so it's not black it's in teal which takes me back to the 90s i remember when we did like the colorful mascara it was revolutionary when i put on that blue mascara nothing could stop me not a damn thing then we've got this beauty right here this is the shea butter lipstick in red lily gorgeous. I bet this one is just gonna be so pretty. I can't wait to try it. Then we have this. This this collection is reminding me of Too Faced. I don't know if that's quite the dupe it's supposed to be. If you 
know what dupe this is maybe supposed to pair to, comment down below, but I can't help but... I don't even know if it's Too Faced, actually. But something's reminding me of this, but this is the um, highlighter. Yeah, it's in, in Golden Glow. I don't know why it's... Wait a minute. They have names after like streets in LA. So Griffith, I don't know if you live in LA, let us know. WeHo, uh, am I saying that right? Melrose, 90210, that is really cool. I only just now noticed that. So then we have the setting spray. Look how pretty that is. This is Hollywood. And yeah, it's a finishing glow spray. There is a little bit of like sheen and glitter to that. I'm gonna love this for summer, I think, for sure. Um, then we have this girl, Wilshire Boulevard, um, in medium brown. This is a brow mechani mechanical pencil. So, Wilshire Boulevard. Then we have the blue mascara. Also, can we talk about the stripes on this? I love that. This is Boardwalk, and it is their volumizing mascara in blue. They also have it in black. And the black is Whittier Boulevard. Gorgeous. Then we have this chubby lipstick, the fat chubby lipstick. This is downtown in the color pink. Ioni has the most clever, adorable lines. I have to say that for them. Then we have the brow gel and this is Malibu. Like, look at this packaging. All right, then we have another felt eyeliner and this is Los Angeles in black. I guess the other one was teal and this is in black. And we have their blushes, which, oh my gosh, this is the pier and this is uptown. This is in pink rose and this is in orange glow. Well, that's my haul. That's my basket challenge. Probably my favorite basket challenge in the sense that I really had to pack it all the way through. And I didn't even go through the whole store. There was a point where I was like, okay, I'm just, I can't fit anything more in this basket. I didn't even try to look and see what else was in the store because I was going to fail the challenge and I didn't want to fail the challenge today. So that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I was just not expecting to find all of these things. I am left speechless, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.